The Care Arthritis Online Image Viewer is a simplified version of medical imaging viewers used by radiologists in hospitals or imaging centers. We created this simple to use viewer to teach rheumatologists and other physicians the basics of reviewing medical images such as MRIs and X-rays, enabling physicians to engage in a better informed dialogue with radiologists. This video will demonstrate the basic functions of the online image viewer. As you watch the video, please practice the controls on the image to the left of this video. We will focus specifically on MRI images for this instructional video. MRI sequences are made up of several consecutive slices. An image viewer, therefore, must provide a mechanism for scrolling through these slices to move through the image. Scrolling is sometimes referred to as stacking. Think of it as flipping through a stack of photographs. A typical MRI sequence of the spine or sacroiliac joints will have 12 to 20 slices. Select the stacking control. It's the icon on the far left side of the toolbar. Most controls in the image viewer provide a few different ways to activate its functionality. With the stacking control selected, move your mouse pointer over the top of the image and click and hold down the left mouse button. Then, move your mouse up and down to move through the stack of images. On a touchscreen tablet like an iPad, Touch one finger on the image and move it up and down to move through the images. The up and down arrows next to the control can also be used to scroll through the images. These arrows do not appear on touchscreen devices. You can also scroll through the images without selecting the stacking control. If you are using a mouse with a scroll wheel, you can use the wheel to move through the images. Lastly, the scroll bar next to the image can be used either by clicking or tapping the arrows or clicking or touching anywhere within the scroll bar and moving the knob up and down. The next control we will learn is the windowing control. Windowing refers to adjustments made to an image's brightness and contrast to optimize the image and better reveal features and abnormalities. Oftentimes, the raw images are not optimally windowed by default so it is extremely important to adjust the windowing to get an optimal view. Select the windowing control. Move the mouse pointer over the image and then click and hold the right mouse button. Make sure that you are holding down the right button, not the left button. On touchscreen tablets, simply touch one finger to the image. Then move the mouse pointer or your finger up to make the image brighter or down to make the image darker. Move the pointer left to increase the image contrast, which can have the effect of making the image appear sharper. Move the pointer right to decrease the contrast. By moving the pointer diagonally, you can adjust the brightness and contrast simultaneously. When viewing MRI, most images seem to benefit by increasing both the brightness and contrast. This will help abnormalities like bone marrow edema and fat metaplasia stand out from the surrounding regions. The four arrows next to the windowing control can also be used to adjust the windowing. You will often find it useful to get a closer look at a particular region of an image, and that's where the zoom and move controls come in handy. If you are using a desktop computer or laptop, you can select both controls at the same time. Zooming is done with the right mouse button, and moving is done with the left mouse button. If you are using a touchscreen tablet, you can only select one control at a time, but in a minute I will demonstrate a trick to use where you don't need to select either control at all. Make sure the zoom control is selected, then move your mouse pointer over the image and click and hold down the right mouse button. On a touchscreen, touch your finger to the image. Then, move your mouse pointer or finger up to magnify the image or down to zoom out. Here's a little tip. Start with your mouse pointer or finger over the area you want to magnify. Then, when you zoom in, that particular area will stay within the viewing area on the screen. One thing to keep in mind is that MRIs tend to be fairly low resolution images and you can only zoom in so far before the individual pixels start appearing and the image starts to look fuzzy. The zoom level is shown at the bottom of the image. To move around an enlarged image, 
make sure the move control is selected, then click and hold down the left mouse button anywhere on the image or touch the image with your finger and drag the image around the viewing area. As before, the arrows next to the controls can be used instead. For touchscreen tablet users, a handy trick is to place two fingers on the image and move your fingers further apart or closer together to adjust the magnification. You can also move your two fingers in the same direction to move the image around the viewing area. By using this pinch zooming technique, you don't even need to select the controls first. If you ever have a need to return an image to its original size and windowing levels, simply click the Reset button. Sometimes an MRI study will be comprised of several MRI sequences. A representative image from each MRI sequence, called a thumbnail, will be displayed above the viewing area. You can toggle the display of this thumbnail bar by clicking the thumbnail icon. To view a different sequence, click a thumbnail and while holding down the mouse button, drag the thumbnail into the viewing pane, then release the mouse button. The sequence will be loaded into the viewing pane. We have now covered the basic essential controls for the image viewer. There are a few other controls on the toolbar. Please interact with them to see what they do. Don't worry, you won't break anything.